technical analysis video that will make you a profitable trader. Make sure you watch this video to the end and you'll thank me later. Anytime you want to trade, anytime you want to place a trade, don't just trade because of pressure. Don't just because you want, don't just trade because you want to make money. Trade with something, with some an idea. Trade with confidence that as long as I do this, I will make this money. So if you've been that person or that trader who you're always shaking whenever you are placing the trade, you're sweaty, you keep looking at your phone, it means the strategy that you're using. It's not cutting it. So if you are that person that you enter a trade after two minutes, you check your phone, you enter a trade after three minutes, you close, you, en you enter sell. The other minute you're buying the same pair, it's like you're confused. So watch this video and I will solve that problem. Now, I want you to do me a favor. Anytime you want to analyze, and this is weekly, anytime you want to, uh, to place a trade, uh, in a week to come, I want you to be analyzing Saturday and Sunday. So I want you to take all the pairs and I can write all the pairs because I've come to realize majority of beginners, they don't know the pairs that we have. So if it is for GBP, I will write the GBP pairs that we have. So we'll start with GBP USD and then we'll go to GBP JPY. Then we'll go to GBP CAD. Then we'll go to GBP CHF. Then we'll go to GBP AUD. Then we'll go to GBP NZD. You see, those are the GBP USD pairs. GBP pairs, sorry. So I want you to go and add all these to your list. Add them to your list. Then we go to Euro pair. So we, we have Euro USD. Then we have Euro JPY. Then we have Euro CAD. Euro CHF. Euro NZD, Euro Audi, then we have Euro GBP, okay? So that is Euro pairs. Then we go to AUD pairs, AUD USD, AUD CAD, AUD CHF, AUD NZD, AUD JPY, okay, we have that. Then we go to USD. So you are adding this and then I'll show you what you do, USD, JPY. Then you add USD card. Then you add USD, CHF. Then we go to card. Card, you have card, CHF, card, JPY, okay? So I want you to add all these in your watch list. Once you add them on your watch list, you will be using this strategy over the weekend. So every week you will open each and every pair here and you're only looking you are now on weekly. So I want you to, if you're watching this video after this video, you go to weekly time frame, and you open all these pairs and you're looking for only one candle and we call it a hammer. A hammer is a candle that shows sellers have been rejected. Okay. So a hammer is a candle looking like that. This is your mission. So you're going to look for a hammer like that. Okay. So, and a hammer can, can, be, uh, can be stiff, it can be looking like that, or a bit like that. So it all depends. It can have a week like that, but that is the candle that we want to check on the weekly time frame. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I have an example here. You can see I have an example. Once you have this hammer and you have identified it, I want you now to jump to four hours. You don't go to daily jump to four hours. And what you're going to look after having that hammer, you are coming to check for, you're coming to, to check. So you have gotten a hammer. You are going now to look for bullish engulf. So you have a red candle. Then you want a bullish engulf like this. So 
on four hour, that's what you're going to check, okay? So from the hammer, and then once you get the hammer, you go to four hour, and once this candle prints, once you get a, a bullish anger printed, you have an entry, and you can target 50 to, to any pips to the next zone, okay? So now, let's practice. We have this hammer. I'll go to four hour time frame, and on my four hour time frame, I am looking for a bullish engulf. So I won't come and say I have a bullish engulf here. I will look for a new bullish engulf as the market is printing. So I'll be careful to check as the market is printing, what do I have? So you can see immediately as I flip, and that's what I'm saying, you have to do it over the weekend. So this was the first candle. This was the first candle on Monday from midnight to four. This was the first candle from midnight to four. We had a bullish engulf. Immediately, imagine the market opens and it gives you a bullish engulf. And I'm saying immediately. And you are either able to target, you can target to the next uh, resistance or you can target to the next resistance, which is very far. So we will target to the next resistance of 50 pips. So if I target to the next resistance is 107 pips. Guys, I have told you this bullish anger was the green candle was not there. It has been printed after the weekly, another week has started. So you can see the first example, the market went smoothly. The first candle we got and we were given a bullish anger and we are targeting 107 pips. So we see what happened to that trade. There was zero retracement and the market hit the tick profit. How good is that, guys? Imagine finding that on weekly and on Monday, you get free money. That is 109 pips. You can see. So let me do another example to show you. Sometimes the market can be fast. Sometimes the market can be slow. So don't think, oh, the market will always be fast or slow on me. No. Sometimes the market will be very fast. Very fast indeed. Sometimes the market will be very slow. So here you can notice I have a hammer, can you see it? And the reason why I'm picking this hammer and I'm not picking this, you can see here I also have a hammer, but the, the problem with this one, it is floating. Hammer is supposed to be created at support. But this one, I have a support. I did not take the first one because it was floating, there was no support. But the green candle, the green hammer created a support area. And what that gives me as a trader I already know. So if I can, I can uh, remove all that. I can say the first hammer I don't consider because we don't take hammers that are floating. You have to take a hammer that is at at support. Okay, that is a rule. So the second one we can't take it because it's green. We don't take a green hammer. I insisted on a red hammer, and you can see the rejection. This is mean. This means sellers were rejected. And that is 484 pips. So once I spot this hammer, I'll go to four hour time frame. And what I'm going to check on four hour, I'm going to check for, for bullish engulf. Okay. So I'm going to check for bullish engulf. And let's see what happened with this market. So I'm not getting the bullish engulf. The market started to go up without me, without giving me a bullish engulf. And you can see. Uh, the market almost gave us a bullish engulf, but it is not a bullish engulf. You can see it has not uh, broken that. So we do not have a bullish engulf and we'll keep trying. So this one, again, it's a failed bullish engulf. The market didn't engulf. You can see. So imagine if we had entered because we saw this momentum. There's a difference between a momentum candle and a bullish engulf. So know that from today. Don't see momentum candles and you're quick to enter by. There's a difference between a momentum candle and a bullish engulf. This again is a failed bullish engulf. It was not able to engulf. So we don't consider the second green candle. We want where from the red, the green one covers the red. And that's what we are monitoring. Imagine if you trade where, if you trade resistance broken, that's what you get. That's what you get, a massive red candle. And this was so many pips. 
And imagine we we have a hammer that is 146. We have a hammer on the weekly, but why do, why are they failing to give us a bullish angle? The reason is because they are not ready to take this market up. So unless they give us a bullish angle, and this one is another failed bullish angle, you can see, unless they give us a bullish angle, you are not boarding, yeah? So we have a bullish angle finally. So this trade, you can either target the first zone or the second zone. You can either target two zones like that. So from Monday, you got an entry on Friday, guys. So from Monday, so that was 115. If you exit, it's 163 pips. So it, the first trade that we did with you, it was instant. But this one, for some reason, it has taken a lot of time. And that's what I'm saying. It Every trade is different. So don't think, oh, because we are doing this together, that's exactly the results you see. Sometimes you will have to wait. So for stop loss, you will use your... ATR. This is not the actual stop loss, but you will use ATR. So let's see what happens after we enter the that buy. So the market, you can see the market is kind of rejecting the buy, but within 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 time, within no time, the market went up. So the question is: even after we stayed for a whole week and getting an entry on Friday. The market was activated on Tuesday. So this trade, we went for seven good days and we went on a drawdown of 100 pips. So sometimes the market will give you an entry. And if we allowed this trade now uh, to play and see what really happened to that buy, the market still continued to buy. Because once you get a bullish end gap, it's very, very, very strong. So this is the hammer that we got on the weekly, and you can see the market continued to buy. So what I'm getting from this strategy, hammers are very, very powerful. And let me emphasize a red hammer is very powerful when it is combined with a bullish engulf. Try this and you'll become a profitable trader. Okay, guys, if you have enjoyed my lesson and you would want my mentorship program, I charge $1,000 for recorded classes and also if you want a one-on-one -on -one mentorship zoom class that is open to be uh, for october october st international students you can join and you can do that on october it's 1500 one strategy is a hundred dollars a course the course is a thousand dollars and my number is this one above there so don't be scammed by people pretending to be me i have said at the end of of my video i will always give my number for that person who may be the even chatting with the wrong esther Moffrey. you know people will chat with the wrong person and they come to tell me what uh, i have sent the money and i'm thinking where when what how have you sent the money like you didn't even talk to me with the, my official number. So that's the reason behind me giving you my number so that in case of anything you want to co communicate, this is the number you will use. Guys, if you don't have the money, always come back for a new lesson every day at 3 p.m. I'm more than willing to help people to become profitable. Bye-bye and I love you. See you in the next one.